to part 33 of Final Fantasy VIII. We are still fighting our way throughout the entirety of the school. Of course, we're going to run into some past enemies and some new enemies. So be wary of that. One thing's perfectly clear, this is actually part two of a very long endeavor. How long, you may ask? The majority of Chapter 2 takes place here, and I do believe somewhere else. But mostly, Disc 2 is a really long disc. And it has a lot to do with the pacing of the game. And so much party separation. Anyway, we've already beat the hell out of a lot of people. And Quistus so far is at level 22. Renault is the only one that's low level. And Squall is in the fucking 30s. So that means that most of the enemies here will be a little bit tougher. Now then, there was something I was going to mention about one of these uh, garden f faculty members. Oh yes, now I remember. One of them has a bomb. And... I do believe this is the guy. Hold on. Yep. What you're supposed to do when the bomb gets to a high enough uh, level, you put it to sleep and then you draw meltdown from it. And you repeatedly put it to sleep until afterwards the uh, bomb gets to a high enough point to where you can uh, draw meltdown and draw enough meltdown to where it'll actually help you later on in this uh, chapter. Alright, this is where you need to put it to sleep. But unfortunately, stupid me, I have to go and attack it. And now, we get to see something that should not happen. Suicide! And guess who he attacks? Yep, Renoa, Dropping her down to freaking 192. Wow. Just wow. Well, we didn't get any experience points for that. That sucked. But yeah. Met meltdown sure would have helped. It sure would have helped. <clears throat> anyway, by saving these guys, I think this is where you get the X potion from. Yep, this is exactly where you get. No, actually, this is just uh, blissful greens. Oh, no, 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 it's, no, no, it's the medic that you get the, uh, exposure from. Here you get blissful greens, and that's actually a helpful thing. You see, it's better to receive, uh, glyphs, I mean, blissful greens, as opposed to buying them. And the reason why in this game is because you have a tight budget and you've got to wait until your seed ranking actually pays you. You know, Squall works from paycheck to paycheck. Oh, well, here's another chance for me to get Meltdown, but unfortunately, I'm gonna screw that up too. I promise you. No, there is an easier way to do this. If by any chance you run into any bombs, you either A, capture them, and they'll give you Meltdown, or B, you uh, destroy, no, you don't destroy them, you actually put them to sleep. Wait, no, you cast fire on them, that's what it is. You cast fire, it'll make them bigger, and then you put it to sleep when it's about to attack you. But as I was saying about the uh, chocobo food, it's best that you receive it than buy it, because if you buy it again, Squall is on a tight budget. 
He's living paycheck to paycheck. And of course, he's throwing out magic pieces. Which, honestly, I won't need. Oh wait, actually, I will need if I run out of pure magic. Or if push comes to shove, I'll just use lightning magic or whatever. Well, then again, pure magic. There you go. Or any other magic that I happen to use. Hmm. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah! I almost totally forgot! <clears throat> You're gonna need the Glistful Green because that is going to be what you will need for the Chocobo Forest. And also, having a Chocobo is what you're gonna need for Chocobo World. Chocobo World is your scouting system. And whatever sort of goodies you get from Chocobo World, so long as Squall is in the vicinity of a Chocobo, that Chocobo will receive all the, no, will give you all the gifts that the Chocobo on Chocobo World actually uncovers. The thing is, the amount of, well, the type of gifts you'll get. That's the thing. So that means it's a lot of playing that I'm going to have to do. Anyway, another garden faculty member. What does he have? Oh, wait. Uh, another bomb. Yeah. Another chance to get Meltdown, but here's the thing. Bombs run rapid. So, if you can't find Meltdown now, you probably will get it later. But, in order for, uh... You to actually have a better time with the later bosses, you're gonna need Meltdown! That and Ultima are the only magics that are worth a damn. And here I go, killing off both these guys with freaking Shiva. Because I didn't let the bomb get big enough to explode. Ah, game crash. Are you serious? Well, it's not really a game. Oh! Oh! So, I guess ice does nothing to him. Yeah? Because Shiva in the past KO'd that thing with one hit. Now? Nothing. Yeah, Mooks are getting stronger now. Okay, here is where we get the X potion. And the only way to do that is to say that you are a part of the garden. No, wait, you are in league with Sid. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Ah, uh, more random encounters. Of course they're going to use Blizzard, why wouldn't they? See, unlike enemies who just randomly use, uh, Blizzara, we all have a limit. All of the, uh, playable characters have a limit, and that limit is however many magics that are drawn, which in the case of the GF, or of the Magic Booster, sorry, which is a hundred. So you have a hundred Blizzaras, and sadly, guess what? You're not going to be able to make use of them, because again, everything except for Meltdown, Kiraga, Full Life, and Ultima is... Well, I didn't say that earlier, but I am saying that now, it's basically not going to help you. Anyway, since you proved that you are a... Uh, ally of the garden, no, of the headmaster instead of the garden master, uh, you get an X potion, because if you had said that you were an ally of the garden master, you'd have been in another fight. 
Yeah. See, troops? Just in case you're wondering, they have monsters too, so yeah. Good news is, though, that throughout the whole entirety of this fighting, you're going to gain a lot of experience points. <clears throat> And it's really messed up how these garden faculty guys were once the people who were oversell who oversaw Squall's practice exam with Ifrit are now the same assholes that are rallying up random uh Balam garden students to try to attack anybody who just so happens to side with Headmaster Sin because Sorceress Edia put out a hit on the Balam Garden. Little do they know, their efforts will be literally in vain. Oh, remember this thing? That showed up in Part 7. As a matter of fact, that was one of the bosses in Part 7. And actually, it was THE boss in Part 7. And we completely annihilated its ass. And it was glorious. Let's see if the same result will happen. Oh, by the way, if you want to draw poison from it, by all means. Oh, and since I have that, uh... Mid-Magic Tool refine, I could just refine into level 2 magic if I wanted to. And that would include... Tornado! Well, yep. My frame rate to drop it. It's sort of become a staple now of this, of this Let's Play. But it's okay. We pretty much kicked ass and take names. Lots of names. Alrighty then. We've got one more. Oh wait, I think that was the last one. Yep, that was the last one. And Dr. Katawaki, or Katawaski, or whatever the hell she is. No, Katawaki, that's what her name is. Dr. Katawaki is still tending to the injured uh, Balam Garden students. And She's just in the dark about the faction Mumbo Jumbo and Squall. But, Katawaki has no idea, just like everybody else, the danger that is approaching the school because of all the faction. Oh, sorry about that, I touched the mic. Anyway, remember folks, back in part 31, Selfie, Zell, and Irvin failed to stop the missiles. So they are still heading for Balam Garden, regardless of what we did. Oh, and this guy was actually in Squall's, uh, was along with Squall in the graduation party. Yeah. So he's a fellow seat member too. Uh, what's his face? Then again, if he's not playable, he's not important. Oh, but wait till I get 15. Or even better, wait, and I repeat, wait till I get myself, um, an Elgato. That would probably be the project I would be working on. I would so work on 15, and I would definitely work on uh, getting an Elgato, but for right now, I'll stick with what I got. And now that we've defeated all the garden facility, I mean the garden faculty guys, I kept calling them facility, I mean garden faculty guys, now we can talk to uh, Zutnu Shu, yes. And we got more money. And right now we can also take a test to raise our level even higher. 
we can actually take up to test number seven because of our C rank. And that would jump uh, our levels up about seven. Well, that will jump. Yeah, that's right. That will jump our levels about seven. And then you can go even higher. I'll worry about doing that later on. Right now, another bomb! I really want to get Meltdown. And I hope I could do that before we continue on with uh, the game. Yep. I really like to get a uh, meltdown, but I got myself a bomb card, and that makes things even better. Eventually, I'm gonna have to play Sid for a cipher card. That's if he pulls it out. Because I do believe cipher his cipher card has some sort of goodies to drop too. We need to find Shu, and there she is! And Shu is pretty much just like everybody else, so um, obnoxious about whose side is, uh, is anybody's on. But Shu doesn't know the, uh, uh, Shu up until now doesn't know the danger, so we just basically told her that there's missiles coming. And there is! Because again, that one guy just screw up everything. That one guy. Don't you just hate it? You just get on a roll. You made sure everything is okay. Oh, by the way, if you haven't gotten the GF from uh, your classroom, more importantly, you're not going to leave without the GF. So don't worry about going back to the classroom. You don't need to go there ever again. But as I was saying, um... You're doing great, you beat everybody, but then there's that one guy that just ruined everything. Like, when I was trying to, uh, that's pretty much what happened to me when I was trying to find, um, King Behemoth, and that one Mandragora that keep bringing back his fucking friends was somewhere in the corner, and I'm talking about Final Fantasy as well, by the way, and they just so happened to be somewhere in the corner and I had to search them for them and it took me two days to find those fuckers and I finally did and I finally got to fight them. Anyway, now we're here with uh, Headmaster Sid. Headmaster Sid is trying to keep a positive face but he knows that he has to do something about these uh, missiles coming to this area. And he will not do anything in his power to save hit the garden. <laughs> and he has a way to save the garden. But the thing is, we're going to have to do it. Because Sid is too exhausted because he was running from the garden. Faction. Well, what he has planned is he is going to uh, <clears throat> give Squall the elevator key, which will take us to the lower levels of Balam. And once we go to the lower levels, and by the way, Headmaster Sid is just pretty much poking fun at Squall and his uptightness of how he's so abrasive to people. The thing is, up until now, you weren't able to go to the lower levels because the situation didn't call for it. Now that you can, now we can actually access the MD level in order to find Master Norg and actually stop him. And that will be an endeavor in and of itself. Because after all, there's actually boss battles 
and a long, long way to go before we reach the guy. Not to mention the random encounters. So yeah, that's gonna be our mission. And we're gonna start doing that in part 34. This is RV Man 985. I'm gonna save, and I am going, okay. I am going to save past me, and I am going to see you guys in the next part. Take care. And sorry about the delay of part.